All right, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. Today we are going to go over this vehicle I have sitting here beside me. This is a 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe. So as you can see, our coupe that we have sitting here, it's the blue exterior, kind of like a darker blue one, obviously. Um, we've got all of the bright work here, the chrome bumpers. We've got the 289 emblems on the front fenders. Of course, we've got the little Mustang logo here on the back side of the front fenders. Our uh, rocker trim, too. Um, you also have all the trim and the moldings around all of the glass and so forth. Um, and then as far as wheels and tires, um, you can see we kept it looking stock on this one. It's got the 14 inch wheels on with the Mustang hubcaps, BF Goodrich radial TA tires on there, all good tread, 215 70R14s on the front, 225 70R14s on the back. Our doors, actually our gaps are really nice on this vehicle. You can see the front as well as the back gaps. As far as elevations, those are all good and all of our body lines line up. Now you can also see that the uh, white non-GT stripe has been added down on the rockers there and up on the fenders and such. That makes it look real good. It breaks up that blue a little bit. And then as far as our windows here, the vent window, and your side windows and your quarter window here. All of the glass is in really good shape here. We don't have any chips or cracks, obviously, in any of the glass. We've got our mirrors on both sides, both driver and passenger side. It's the chrome mirror and the glass that's in those mirrors. Those are in really nice shape, too. Let's go ahead and open our door up, and we'll take a look inside. Obviously, you can see we've got the all-black vinyl interior, the front bucket seats, the rear bench, obviously. We've got front seat belts, factory dash up there, and it is factory instrumentation. You've got your speedometer, your fuel gauge, and your temperature gauge. Got AM radio up there, and then, of course, the factory heater controls in there as well. Carpeting and all that is in great shape, as well as the dash pad itself. And of course, you've got your stock steering wheel in there too. Now, as far as all of our seals and so forth, up around the window where that glass is gonna come in contact with, and even your rubbers down your quarter window, all of that is in really good condition. You don't see any chunks or anything torn out of it. They're not dry, they're nice and soft. So they're gonna seal up really good for you. Door shuts real nice and easy. Of course, you got your trim back here on the quarter panel. Again, the whole body on this car is nice and straight the whole way around on it. As we come around the back side, you'll be able to see your gaps here and elevations on your trunk lid. Again, not too bad back here. Of course, you've got your chrome rear bumper. That's in really nice shape. There's no pitting whatsoever. Tail light lenses and bezels, again, in good shape. And of course, you've got your Mustang uh, gas cap there too. Now we'll open up our trunk, take a look inside. So first off, the trunk lock works. The trunk spring holds it up, so that is in working order. You can see the underside of the trunk has been painted the same color as the rest of the car. And then your weather stripping and seals around your trunklet. These look to be fairly new. Again, nice and soft. There's nothing torn out of them. They're going to seal up really nice. Even your lip around here on the bottom, that's in good shape. Now inside here in your trunk, uh, again, on the Mustangs, you don't have a whole lot of uh, trunk floor per se. What is here is all in great shape. And then, of course, your fuel tank always drops in from the top here, and that creates part of your floor. So as long as your fuel tank is good, you've got good floor in the trunk, which this one is. So we'll close this up. Again, the trunk shuts nice and easy. And again, now down the passenger side. Again, body lines are all nice and straight. They all line up. Glass is all in great shape, even over here on the passenger side. Again, you don't have any moldings up around your, say, your rain gutter area. It's nice and smooth right there. So again, uh, nothing to really mention there. Still all of your moldings along the rockers, your accent trim back there on the quarter panel, and your mirror over here. Now we will open this door up as well. That way you can see it from both sides. Again, you'll just take notice that the carpeting, the door panels and so forth are all in great shape. The dash pad itself, there's no cracks or anything like that. Seat upholstery also, no cracks, tears or rips or anything like that. All of which is in really good shape. Of course, you see your floor shifter in there for the automatic transmission. 
Again, the door over on this side shuts nice and easy. Also, we'll keep on moving to the front here since everything else is all the same. And now we're back at the front of the car. So now you'll see we have our stock steel hood here. Gaps and elevations the whole way around on that are in good shape. You've got the Ford uh, letters up front here, and those are in real nice condition. Your horse logo right here in the center of the grill. The grill itself is in really nice shape. All of your bright work and trim on that grill, same thing. Of course, you've got your bumper here that matches. Again, no pitting whatsoever on that. And then underneath your lower valance with your parking lights down here, your lenses, no chips or cracks in any of those. Headlights are just typical sealed beam units, highs and lows all right here, all in the same unit. Let's go ahead and open our hood up next. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what we have underneath here. So first off on the underside of our hood here, this is painted kind of like a flat black or a matte black underneath. Of course, the rest of the engine compartment done the same way. Now, as far as what we have sitting in here, this is a 302 cubic inch motor. It's got the aluminum air cleaner on it. I know the decal is a little different, but 302 is what we have. Aluminum intake, an Edelbrock, or a, I think that's a Holley 650 carb on this particular one. The uh, distributor, the ignition system, pretty much your stock ignition system, stock type wires and so forth, and stock coil. You've got a five blade aluminum flex fan there with a fan shroud, along with your stock radiator to help keep things cool. Um, Edelbrock aluminum intake, again, that's going to help get the fuel from your carburetor down through and get it burning good. You've got stock cast exhaust manifolds here also empty out into dual exhaust underneath the car of which we'll go over as we get it on the lift. Um, now behind this motor we've got a C4 automatic transmission. So that is, uh, is what is in this car. Uh, we've been around it, we've been in the engine compartment now. We're going to go ahead next get this on the lift and then we'll show you the underside of it. And then lastly, we'll fire that engine up so you get to hear what it sounds like. All right, so here we stand underneath our 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe. So we're going to go through this just like we do all of our other vehicles. They're going through steering, suspension, driveline, frame, floors. So starting up at the front of our Mustang here, obviously this is all your stock front suspension. It is the strut rod style front suspension here, and we do have a sway bar here. And again, our frame mount bushings, as well as our sway bar end length bushings, those are all in great condition on this vehicle. As far as our suspension arms on the front, these are just your stock uh, suspensions, both your upper and lower control arms. That's what you had back in the day. And then as far as the steering, this is just your factory steering components. So you've got your tie rods, ball joints on either end of those on both sides. And again, those are all in great shape. You've got the rubber dust boots. Those are all in town yet. And you can tell everything's been greased and maintained very well. Pitman arm, everything like that, so, and your drag link too. So again, all of that is in great shape. Um, steering on this car is manual steering. It is power brakes though. It's power four-wheel drum brakes though. Um, all the brake line hoses here, both on the front and I noticed out back, those all look to be all new. Um, so that's going to be good for you. They're not split. They're not cracked. They're going to maintain pressure for you very well and stop the car very good too. As far as uh, drive line, since we're standing right underneath most of it here, we've got a 302 cubic inch small block Ford motor. We've got right behind that a C4 automatic transmission. Now we've got the aluminum bell housing here. It does have the flywheel cover on it. That's going to help keep dirt and debris out, keep from chipping a tooth off of that flywheel. As far as our pan on our motor and the trans pan, I always look at those to see if there's any drips or any leaks. These are very dry, both of those. Even back here at the tail shaft of the transmission, that is very dry as well. Of course, our drive shaft here, it's a balanced drive shaft, going to help eliminate a lot of vibrations in the drivetrain. And then we come back to the rear. Now, this rear is a 325 gear ratio in this car. Um, and as far as rear suspension, we've got multi leaf rear suspension. You've got a good set of just regular, you know, gas charge shocks. And then, of course, you've got your fuel tank you see back there. Fuel tank's in really good shape. There's no marks at all on that thing. Looks to be a fairly new tank. Of course, all of your mounting hardware for the fuel tank 
is in good condition too and it's holding that in very nicely. As far as uh, frame and floors now, the frame on this car is nice and straight, good and solid. As you come back here, you'll notice on a Mustang, you didn't normally have these sections right in through here. These are a set of subframe connectors. So they've got those in here. They've done a nice job with that. And then of course you've got your rear dog legs up over top of the rear end. Those are nice and straight, good and square. They look to be in good shape too. Floors, you can see all of your floors. You've got all the uh, factory lines as far as your stamping lines go. So all of those are present. All of your little drain plugs, those are all intact where they should be. Um, as far as our trans tunnel here, that looks to be in good shape. Uh, again, that is a C4 automatic and you've got your, uh, you got your emergency brake in here too, all routed. So you've got all the correct connectors, all the, the hooks and so forth. Cables run back right through the uh, drive shaft tunnel there. And then of course they branch off and go to your drum brakes on the back end of the car. As far as wheels and tires, 14 inch steel wheels on this vehicle, factory steel wheels with the factory hubcaps on it too and those are all in great shape and then as far as the tires we've got BF Goodrich radial TAs on all four corners sizes are 215 70R14s on the front and 225 70R14s on the back all of which the tread you can see here in the video is in excellent shape the uh, pinch welds and your rockers again nice and straight down the pinch welds of the car rockers are in good condition too um, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, like I said, we kind of breezed through everything there real quick on the car. We're going to go ahead now. Um, oh, one thing, one more thing. Exhaust. Dual exhaust. You start at the stock cast exhaust manifolds. Come back in here, full duals all the way back. You've got a set of what looks to be, uh, they almost look like a Flowmaster muffler. I can't tell the name brand. It might be up on the top side where I can't see it. But again, nice looking mufflers here, tailpipes up over the rear end, and straight out the back of the car there, just like they should be. So that is it now for underneath our Mustang. We're going to go down, uh, lower this down now, we'll get the hood open, and then we're going to fire up that motor, let you hear what that 302 sounds like.